Hi, I'm Laughing Woman, and I'm doing a reading here so that we can take a look and see what this wonderful new week that's opening up in front of us has for us. Now, I'm doing something just a little bit different here this time. I'm choosing my cards differently. And I want to do this today because I want you to see that there's lots of ways that you can shuffle the cards and still get an accurate reading. So the first card that I pulled out here is the Two of Fire, Impact. The second card is Mystic of Water, Flow. The third card is Major 18, Intuition. The fourth card is Achiever of Water, Idealism. And the fifth card is Major Four, Strategy. So what I'm seeing with these cards, first and foremost, is we have three water cards right in the middle of the week. And this tells me that this is going to be a very emotional week. Be prepared for that. Flow with it gently. Enjoy those emotions. Don't experience this as something negative. Our emotions are here to help us understand deeper truths than what our mind can get to sometimes. So at the beginning of the week, we're starting with impact. And what this says to me is that it's very important throughout this week to pay attention to the impact you're having outside of yourself as well as inside of yourself. Choose what your goal is, choose where you're trying to get to, and make sure that you're supporting things that actually create the change inwardly or outwardly that will get you toward your chosen goal. We move from impact into flow. So once we get aligned with being able to actually see how we're impacting the world around us and within us, we can just move into the flow of the energy. We've got it. We can trust it. We can trust our intuition to guide us, which comes very strongly at the middle of the week. And we can just move with our feelings and guide ourselves through our process for the week that way. Midweek, intuition is the big thing. Your intuition will be open, it'll be on, it'll be accurate. Believe it and use it. This is a wonderful energy to play in. From there, we move into idealism. Now what idealism is telling us in this reading is that it's possible from the combination of awareness of how our behavior impacts and then moving with our emotions and our intuition, it's possible for us to actually get in touch with our ideal and move from being in touch with it to enacting a strategy that will actually help us live it. So by the end of the week, we've moved from all of this wonderful flowing in energy into some very logical, forward thinking, and this is long in the future thinking. You're creating a strategy that will sustain for quite some time. We've moved into that. So in summary, begin the week with consciousness about how your behavior, your choices, your decisions impact not only the world outside of you, but your inner world and your future. From there, Flow with your emotions and the energy that's around you. Engage your intuition and trust it. Let yourself feel and see the ideal that you're trying to get to. And then at the end of the week, figure out how to get going on that. This is a very powerful week this week. Have a lot of fun with it.